Okay, turn you around. There we go. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be kind of like a whole house clean with me, lots of cleaning motivation. I'm gonna be taking down my fall decor and getting ready for Christmas. I wanna have a blank slate. I want everything to be clean and put away before I pull out anything for Christmas. I'm also gonna be sharing a delicious recipe with you at the end of this video. I have shared this recipe before, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently this time. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the cleaning and there's Clyde. <laughs> Listen, he sees the birds. Anyway, I've got a lot of cleaning to do. The house is not trashed by any means, but there's definitely some things I need to get done. Just, you know, make start the week out. Today is Sunday for me. I want to have a blank slate. You know, I've got a busy week this week, so starting out with a clean house is always a good thing. So I had so much to do today. I felt like the house was not trashed at all, but there was just so many things that I had been needing to do that I had kind of been putting off. And I had planned on filming this video like four days before this and life was just so busy. And I knew that this week was going to be so, so busy, like way more busy than normal. So I had to get this done on this day because I really needed to start out the week with a clean house. So. The first thing I did was strip the beds and washed all of the sheets and I wanted to get those going because I needed, I knew that I needed to do that plus more regular laundry plus also all my like blankets and things so I had to get the wash going. So now I am just going to take down my fall decor. I didn't do a whole bunch of fall decor. So in this video I'm only taking down the inside decor and my porch is going to be for another day. That was just too much to go ahead and take that down too. So in an upcoming video I will be decorating for Christmas. I'll have a couple Christmas videos coming up shortly. Actually I believe the next video you see is going to be my first Christmas video. But since we're in the Christmas season, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Christmas music and just have that in my vid videos from now through Christmas because why not? <laughs> it is Christmas season. So also in an upcoming video, I'll be taking down all my fall decor from the porch and then also redecorating it for Christmas in that same video. So today I'm just going to take down what's inside and then I really just wanted to clean everything, dust, vacuum, mop, all that make it a nice clean slate for when I bring out my Christmas and you can see right there to the right is a little sneak peek of a few of my Christmas items I'm so excited for my Christmas decor this year like I am feeling like doing I don't know going a little more than normal maybe a little more some years I just feel like decorating less some years I feel like decorating more I think y'all understand <laughs> what I'm talking about this year I just kind of want to do more so if you saw my Christmas haul video my decor haul if you didn't see that I'll try to remember to link it above but I did pick up a, a lot of little things to add to my decor this year and I'm super excited about it so make sure that you come back and watch those videos but I'm gonna go ahead and take everything off the couch and I really wanted to give the couch a good cleaning because you know my dogs just love this couch live on this couch and so naturally there's gonna be dog hair and debris so I didn't take the cushions off and wash them this day but I did just like I used my little tool that I get the hair off of and I really just like did the whole couch and it just made a big difference and then I took off my little cover for my ottoman and I just threw that in the wash because it, it was time for that to go in the wash the cats really love to lay on it and the dogs and you know we put our feet on it and stuff but now I'm just gonna go ahead and give the couch kind of like a good vacuum and not a deep clean because I didn't wash them but everything besides washing the covers
So I know a lot of you guys are my returning viewers and you've been around for a while, but if you haven't, and this is the first video that you happen to see, you might be wondering what this little thing is. And it is just a little hair removal tool and I absolutely love it. It's my new favorite cleaning tool and I use it all the time. I have a couple dogs and cats and they like to lay on the furniture because I feel like this is their house too and I allow it. So I want to have a way to get the hair off and this thing just works amazing amazing so there is one linked in my amazon shop that is i think it's like the exact same thing it's just different brand super inexpensive i think i saw the other day it was on sale for eight something so grab it if you have pets it is amazing Every time I use this, I'm shocked at how much dirt and debris it picks up. It is so simple and just so amazing. It does such a great job. So now I'm going to go ahead and dust and wipe down all the surfaces just so that when I put up my decor for Christmas, everything is nice and clean. It's a clean slate. I had to change into something cooler. Took my sweatpants off, I am dying. <laughs> I don't know what temperature is, but it's not cold today. And there's like, it's very humid. There's storms keep line, keep coming in. It gets sunny and humid, and then it gets cloudy and starts raining. And I keep shutting the door, opening the door, shutting the door, and I'm so close to turning my air conditioner on, but I figured I'd put on, <laughs> I'd put on some cooler clothes I'm just getting some laundry out and trying to put a load away and then I'm just going to keep the laundry going.
So definitely one of the things I needed to do this day was my floors. And I know things don't pick up on camera like they do in real life, but I definitely needed to sweep and mop my floors and of course vacuum the rugs. So if you've been around, you know how much I love my broom. I know a lot of people use just the quick little vacuums to instead of a broom and forever I've just loved my broom it, I just feel like it does a better job it gets in all the little spaces that a vacuum doesn't so the vacuum's great for like a quick clean but the broom is what I prefer when I'm doing a deeper clean and with having five animals in a small house it's definitely something that's necessary I also thought if you happen to be a new viewer, I would introduce myself. I know we're already into the video, but if you're watching, thank you so much for coming over and clicking on this video. I'm so happy to have you here. My name is Erica and I am a wife and mom of four. I have three grown children, two, who, two of them are married and we have a granddaughter on the way next year. We are so excited, so excited. I also have a teenage son who lives at home, so my husband, my son, and our five animals live in an 1100 square foot house. We've lived in this house for 18 years, and we don't have any plans to move. We just like to live simply. We like to live within our means, and we are so happy here. And you know, only God knows what the future holds, but as for now, that is our plan. So welcome to the Door Set Doorstep. I hope that you like what you see and enjoy my video and decide to subscribe. I'd love to have you. I do a lot of cleaning, a lot of just everyday vlogs. Homemaking motivation is kind of the core of my channel. I'm a wife and mom, so I love taking care of the home. It is a passion of mine and I love sharing you know, that inspiration with people on YouTube. Also, my other passion in life is my Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope that you can always see that in my videos. Um, he is everything to me, my family, and my Savior. And I hope that when you leave my channel, you feel refreshed, you feel encouraged, and that you, I have pointed you to Jesus in some way. So I got the main areas of the house swept and vacuumed and then I'm going to focus a little bit on the bedrooms and then I'm going to start on dinner so I'm going to be sharing a really f delicious recipe with you and I hope that you try it it was so delicious this night All right, I'm gonna take a break from cleaning for a second to go ahead and put the chicken in the marinade because it needs, it says two to three hours. I'm probably gonna do it about, it's four o'clock now, so maybe an hour and a half to two hours. But I just have a small thing of thin sliced chicken breast. You can use, you know, chicken breast, the thick ones, whatever you want. I just wanted these thin ones. And these are all the ingredients. I'm gonna put it into a bowl and make a marinade. Let that sit in the refrigerator, then I'll come back in a little while and finish it. But this recipe will be linked down below so you can get the exact measurements and the exact recipe if you're interested. So this is a recipe for the copycat Longhorn Steakhouse Parmesan chicken, Parmesan crusted chicken. I have made it once before, but it was a different recipe and it was a lot more steps and a lot more difficult. This one just was super simple. You just marinate your chicken and you let it sit for, I think I did an hour and a half this night. And then you're gonna make a couple different toppings for it and you're gonna put it under the broiler. It's got ranch, it's got Parmesan, it's got provolone. Um, olive oil, garlic, it's just all those things put together. It is so delicious. And this marinade, wow, it smelled so good. And the recipe says to grill the chicken. So if you have a grill or if it's summertime and you want to throw it on the grill, I'm sure it would be even better.
right, I'm gonna just wipe the bathroom down real quick, not anything too deep, but just wiping down all the surfaces of the bathroom, the mirror, the toilet, and the sink. I'm gonna throw that in the dryer. Alright, Clyde, you ready to make the bed? <laughs> I don't know why you're putting them down. <laughs> if you know, you know. Clyde sure loves to help us make the beds. He is such a stinker. I don't know why this is fun to him, but it is. And we can make the bed up completely and all, all the way and it doesn't bother him he, he doesn't move like nothing bothers him he loves it so he was our little bed maker the bed making helper this day like usual I love this blanket, but it gets all these little white pieces of fuzz that like pull through the blanket. I think it's because of the cats. So I'm gonna try to trim those. Yeah, is it your fault, Clyde? Yes. It it's always Clyde's fault.
All right, it's 5.30. Um, I let the chicken marinate for about an hour and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. 5.30 and it's completely dark. Gotta love daylight savings time. It was nice to fall back and have an extra hour, but I'm sad that we lose an extra hour of daylight. But I'm gonna go ahead and make the chicken. Like I said, the entire recipe is linked down below if you want any specifics, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cook the chicken. It's been marinating, it looks really good. That marinade, wow, smelled so good. All right, dinner was amazing. Definitely two thumbs ups. Got to clean this kitchen. Not too many dishes. So I know if you've watched my videos, you see me clean my kitchen in almost every video. And if you saw my recent video when I was talking about chronotypes, I know I've been talking about it a lot lately, but it really has changed my outlook on so many things. And I am a wolf chronotype, so look them up if you don't know what they are. There's four chronotypes, and a wolf is kind of cl your classic night owl, and I get my burst of energy in the evening, so dinner time and getting the kitchen cleaned up, that's kind of like just my jam. <laughs> it's like when I get everything done. So if you are not a wolf, or you're not a night owl, and and you do things in the morning or you do them in spurts throughout the day I hope that you don't feel like you have to get your kitchen clean at night like this is this is just if you don't you should feel bad about it I hope that uh, that is never the message that I send because if you came to my house in the morning I am not doing a lot I am not motivated I am not productive it's my quiet time my downtime I enjoy my mornings my quiet mornings it's when I get quiet work done and I just happen to be really productive in the afternoon and evening and so that's why I film my kitchen cleaning routine so as long as you get it done it doesn't matter what time of day you do it as long as it gets done you know that's what's important so um, I know a lot of you have said I get it done in the morning and I some say in the afternoon and that's amazing whenever you do it j that's great <laughs> but I am just definitely a wolf and I get things done in the evening and then I can go to bed with a clean house pretty much every night I make sure that the house is clean when I go to bed I just I don't know I got in that habit a long time ago and it's just the way that I like it I can't go to bed with things just in disarray of course there are times when it's inevitable and you you can't help it but I don't like it so 99% um, of the time my house is gonna be tidy and clean and probably five nights a week there's not gonna be any dishes in the sink but there are nights when there is
So it's time now to focus on the floors. I'm gonna just sweep the kitchen and pantry area and then I'm gonna mop really well. And then I'm gonna kind of be done for the day. This was a very long day. Sometimes I plan these videos and I plan these big days for cleaning. And when you, when you film them as well as clean, it takes twice as long and it's twice as exhausting. And my back was so sore after all this. Like I'm 48 years old and so, it, you know, it takes a toll. I mean, this is a good six hours, six or seven hours this day of just being on my feet. I got all 10,000 steps just walking around my little small house in cleaning this day. So that was impressive, <laughs> but it does feel so good. I just knew it was such a busy week and I knew that I needed to get all this done and I would be so glad that I did. And I was definitely glad. So I just wanted to jump on here again and say thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed this video and it gave you all the motivation that you need to get things done around your house. Make sure to give this one a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos and subscribe if you want to be subscribed. I'd love to have you stick around. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Make sure to come back next week. I will have Christmas videos coming up starting on Tuesday. Bye-bye.